What's good YouTube? I'm Robert with the Crosscut Creations channel. Today we're taking 2017 Pallet Upcycle Challenge put on by Russell Clarity. If you want to see what I made, stick around. Hey guys, go check out Russell Clarity's YouTube channel, Simply Wooden Creations. I'll leave a link in the description. I am breaking down my pallet with the ever so fancy and state-of-the-art Chicago electric reciprocating saw. This took a lot more work than I had anticipated and it was it was quite a bit of work but we eventually got there. After breaking down the pallet I measured each of my boards to 34 inches and I also avoided the nails at this point. Uh, there are still offcuts of nails in the wood but I made sure to avoid those when I was cutting them to length. After I cut all of the boards to rough length I removed the nails with a hammer and a screwdriver. This allowed me to pop the nails just above or below the surface depending on which way your board's oriented. And then I used the claw part of the hammer to remove the nails. I did that with all of the boards. Once finishing the denailing process, I planed all of the wood for the glue up. Uh, that was the prep for the glue up. I tried to get them as flat as I could so I could glue up the boards. There was so much prep for this project it was unbelievable just to get to the actual project itself. There were a lot of steps that I, I knew I had to do but I, I didn't realize. Once I got to the glue up stage I used so much glue. I glued and clamped and glued and clamped and there was so much glue and so much clamps. You never have enough clamps. I used pretty much every clamp that I had and if you couldn't tell at this point I have a either by the title of the video or by the template in the background when I was when I'm gluing up this blank I'm making a baseball bat out of pallet wood. The second section of pallet wood that I'm gluing up was supposed to be a ball that I was going to turn to have like a baseball bat and a ball but the ball part of the project was a complete failure so you're gonna see the ball being glued up or the blank for the ball being glued up but that'll be the last time you see that you won't actually see any of the ball getting turned after I let that dry I remove the clamps again I'm finally at the point where I can almost start to turn and again there is so much prep to this project again more than I expected once I finished waiting for the glue to dry and I removed the clamps. I trimmed the ends flush and square with uh, the miter saw. This way I could mark for center on either side and then mount it to the lathe. Once I started to get the bat, the bat blank round, this took forever and ever and ever skip ahead a little ways if you want to skip some of the rounding. The fact that this bat blank was 34 inches long absolutely maxed out my lathe and it took every bit of the 34 inches on there. I think my lathe is rated for 33 and 3 eighths or something like that but I was able to get 34 on there and I kept it on the slowest speed for probably 90 to 95 percent of the project because it was just, this thing was it just took forever to get round and I think part of that was because it was rectangular and it was it was just this thing was a beast so instead of taking a square I had to take a rectangle and make it round so that took a while this you know, and now I understand why they make bat blanks already round. This definitely won't be my last bat, but the next bat I turn, hopefully I'll have a bat blank for. 
I had quite a bit of issue with my tool rest for this project and after some comments on another project I think I figured out what was going on so I'll, I'll know for the next couple videos and how to improve and fix uh, when I use my lathe. Did I mention that this getting that getting the bat blank round took forever? At this point I'm making marks for how to shape the bat. I'm making marks at the top end of the bat where the hitting zone is. I'm making marks in the middle to for where the taper should go and I'm making a mark for where the handle needs to end. Even once I got this bat round, the shaping and dimensioning took took a while to do because it was just it was just a huge blank. And I tried to turn this bat basically in one shot. I got tired and careless, so the handle and the section that is heading up towards the hitting zone of the bat was a little thicker than I would have hoped for, but again, you live and learn. And with all the chips and dust flying everywhere, I have quite a bit of dust for Russell if he's interested in it, so Russell, if you never need any dust, just uh, contact me and I've got it. Again, because I was a little careless, my handle ended up a little thick, but for a first bat, I'm, I'm not complaining. I had an absolute blast turning this thing, even if it was a lot of work. I'm not going to show a lot of the sanding process because you guys all know that sanding is tedious and just the bane of every woodworker's existence. So very quickly I ran through the grits. Um, in the video you just see a very short clip, but I did run through the grits uh, along the entire bat. I went uh, 60, 120, 220, 400, 1000, and then finally 2000. Once I finished the sanding process, I used paste wax just to give it a little bit of a, pro of a protective coat. This bat's not ever going to be used in a game. It's also not intended to be used in a game because it's just made out of junk pallet wood, so it's more of a talking piece than anything else. So that's why I chose paste wax as a finish. I also used it because it was what I had on hand. So. After I put the paste wax on and buff it out, I part off the ends at the bandsaw, and after I part it off at the bandsaw, this project's a wrap. I'll give you guys a final shot of what the bat looks like. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. I want to thank you for hanging out with me on the build video today. I also want to thank Russell Clarity for hosting this 2017 Pallet Upcycle Challenge. Here is the completed baseball bat. It's not perfect, but I had a lot of fun turning it, so until next time, we'll, uh, we'll see you later.